motorcycles, yeah. Memorial bus can have a bike. Basketball fans, and welcome to the Fieldhouse on the campus of Southern New Hampshire University in Manchester for tonight's Division Three semifinals, the Final Four. We got two games covered for you tonight on nhsportspage.com. My name is Pete Terrier. John Kesty is on the other side of the video camera. The first of the two games, it's the number two seeded Corin Orioles going up against the number three seed, the Kearsarge Cougars. Kona comes in with a record of 19 and one, and Kearsarge is 18 and two. Conant won the regular season matchup way back in December, and they won by only one point in North Sutton that night, but they were without a couple of starters. The Orioles got here to SNHU in the Final Four by beating Monadnock and Stevens. Meanwhile, Kearsage, they defeated Campbell and then had a real nail-biter, an overtime win that went down to the last shot against Franklin the other night in North Sutton to advance to their first Final Four in 10 years. Our coverage tonight Brought to you by Builders Installed Products of New Hampshire. I want to thank JP Records dad, Ron Record, and Builders Installed Products of New Hampshire. Fine company located right here in Auburn, New Hampshire, right in the Manchester area. Really appreciate the support. Without sponsors like those guys, we just could not bring you the type of coverage that we do on nhsportspage.com. We'll get you all the highlights, all the play-by-play, -play, the post-game reaction as well with the winning team and the winning coach. It's Kearsage and Conant. Winner moving on to the championship game right here on Saturday on nhsportspage.com. A minute gone by, excuse me, two minutes gone by. Conant yet to score. DeGrenier has it in the middle of the floor. DeGrenier dribbles to the left now, swings it. Record on the right hand side. Back to DeGrenier. He's going to take the three. DeGrenier rattles it in. And it's a 3 2 Orioles lead. Tommy Johnson with it. Behind his back with the dribble at the free throw line. He throws it up on the left baseline. Zach Matos buries it from about eight feet away. And Matos has all four Kearsarge points. And the Cougars are up by one, four to three. Left hand side, Murphy. Murphy, ball fake, feeds it right side, record, puts it on the floor, one swings it back to Murphy, left corner, Hodgson's three. Hodgson buries the three. Two field goals for Conant, both of them from downtown, and they are on top six to four. They lead by two, 420 left to go first quarter. Murphy puts it on the floor, swings it right hand side to Grenier. The Grenier in the middle of the floor, the record now, left side, Hodgson. Murphy feeds it down low, Billado. Kicks it up top to DeGrenier. DeGrenier with the kick. Record. His shot is blocked by Taylor Matos. And I believe, uh, let's see, uh, I think it's Record on the bench right now. Starozic feeds Johnson. He'll take a three. And Johnson puts it home from downtown. Nine to six. The first three points by anybody except for Zach Matos. 2.45 left to go first quarter. Kearsage. Up top by three, here's another three attempt by Johnson, and Johnson puts his second three in a row home, and it's a six point lead, 12-6. Cougars gets it into Brandon Ford, back to Hodgson. Hodgson dribbles to the wing, now up top, DeGrenier a step to the right of the top of the knee, and DeGrenier buries his second three, and it's 12 to nine. Josh has six. Hodgson, Hodgson back to record, record puts it on the floor, down to the lane, the kick, DeGrenier corner three, and Josh DeGrenier. He's got three threes in the first quarter, and we're tied at 12. Record throws it right side, Hodson. Hodson swings it right corner to record underneath Bellino, works his way in over Zach Matos with a jump hook, and CJ Bellino gives Conan a two point lead, 14 12. Final 10 seconds. Johnson with it, seven seconds. Yet to get it up to half court. Now he does with four. Johnson fires a three at the buzzer and nails it. Tommy Johnson stole three of the first quarter and puts the Cougars on top by one. 15-14, end of the first. We're at halftime of the first of two Division Three semifinals here on NHSportsPage.com. It is Kearsarge, a 20, Conant, 19, and a very low-scoring game. 
Another game coming up after this. Just want to take this chance to remind you that we are going registration only on NHSportsPage.com in the very near future. And we've been telling you about the early bird offer, just the $50 registration fee to continue to get full access to the website, all our articles, all our game stories, the statistics, and these highlight videos. We're going to require you to register, and you're going to have to pay a one-time fee, and you'll have access through the rest of the playoffs and, of course, next year as well. But our special offer ends on Thursday, March 10th, just $50 after that. It's going to be in the hands of our new website provider, and it's going to probably be a decent amount more than $50. So please take advantage of this offer right now and register and continue to get the full access that you've come to know and love with nhsportspage.com. The record. Record puts it on the floor. Back to DeGrenier. He's going to fire an open three right side. It's off the mark. Rebound Brandon Ford took it away from Starozic. And Ford goes up strong and puts it home. And Konitz back on top. 21 to 20. Opening minute here in the third quarter. DeGrenier on the drive, takes it at Matos. Matos sends it back at him. And then Ford couldn't handle it, and it's out of bounds to Kearsaw to the left wing. Feeds it, Ford, left baseline, kicked it out to Grenier now up top to Record. Five and a half to play in the third. Record on the drive, blocked by M Matos. Hodgson looking to push. Hodgson lost it, got it to DeGrenier, faked on the three. Kick out Record, his three is off the mark. Rebound, Brandon Ford going against Zach Matos, blocked by Matos. Here comes Johnson for Pearsage. Matos got a slew of blocks tonight. In the middle of the floor. Johnson pounding it into the floor with DeGrenier guarding him. Swings it right corner. Starozic, Starozic feeds it. Zach Matos, jumper, and hits it from the right side of the lane. Zach Matos has nine points, and the lead is two for Pearsage. 25-23, fake the three, threw it right side, Hodgson. 45 seconds left to go in the quarter. Nimala with it. Nimala on the drive. Nimala puts it up off the window, and Rowan Nimala, the big bucket for the sophomore. We're tied at 25, 35 seconds left. Record, record drives baseline. His pass picked off. Starozic up ahead to Johnson. Johnson attacking against DeGrenier. And the follow and the putback is going to be waved off. Zach Matos stuffed it in, but the official said offensive basket interference. Opponent being very patient, looking for the best shot. Bilodo feeds record, free throw line. High Arthur goes. JP Record extends the lead to three. 28-25. 4.45 left to go. Johnson on the attack. They want to get the big guy four down there. Got to block off the Matos brothers. Norji misses the second. Rebound goes to him after being tipped. Kearsage could tire, take the lead. 45 seconds left to go. Nordsey working against Hodgson. Nordsey with 40 seconds, swings it right side. Starozic fed it to Zach Matos. He throws up a wild shot and it goes off the window. We're tied at 28. 30 seconds to go. Does Coach Saucier want a timeout? So I just played overtime to get here against Franklin. And it's 28-28. Ford actually tries to jump this time, but the tap is controlled by Kearsage, and Johnson lays it in. Kearsage is up by two, 30 to 28. The first time when they opened the game, Ford just let Matos take the tip, and it went to Conan. This time he tried, and Matos won the tip, and it went right to Johnson, who laid it in. Here's Hodgson, he's blocked by Nordsey. Nordsey comes down with the ball. The Kearsage crowd is going crazy. Nordsey dribbles down the left of the lane. The pass, Taylor Matos. In the lane, Johnson. Off the window, Tommy Johnson has scored two quick buckets. And it's a four point lead for the Cougars. 4.3 seconds left. Rowan Nimala will throw it in bounds. You got to think DeGrenier or Hodgson here. Maybe a throwback to Nimala. It's DeGrenier. Left side, Hodgson. Hodgson gets it to Grenier. He'll take the three. They don't get it off. Second time. They don't get it off. Kearsage wins. They're going to the championship game. The final score. Kearsage 34. Conan 31. Didn't seem like either Hodgson or DeGrenier wanted to take the shot. And Kearsage is going to the championship game on Saturday.
All right, for the first time since 1999, the Kearsarge Cougars are going to a championship game. And I'll tell you what, this was not the prettiest of games, but I'm sure that doesn't matter to you guys whatsoever. You win it 34-31 to 31 against the Conan Orioles, sort of slaying the dragon, so to speak. I don't think a lot of people gave you guys a lot of chance to win this game, so hats off to you guys for getting it done. We got the whole team in the shot. We got a kid over here, Trent Nordsey, who really had a lot of foul trouble in this game tonight. Didn't play a lot, had to sit a lot and watch, but your team able to keep it together enough to set the stage for you to hit one, maybe two big free throws down the stretch. You outscored him 6-3 to three in the overtime and then had to sweat out a potential uh, game-winning shot at the end. They didn't get a shot off. Same thing happened at the end of regulation where they had the ball and they had a chance to, to maybe win the game, but they couldn't get a shot off. Talk about your feelings right now after such a, a, a draining game, I'm sure. Yeah, it was uh, definitely a defensive battle. You know, we only scored 30 points each each team, but um, we knew that they were a good team coming in. We knew we'd have to lock down their guards, and we knew we could get it inside because they don't have as many bigs, but we stuck to the game plan, and even though people were counting us out, we just tried to prove them wrong. And That's what we did. Your bigs, Trent, did a great job. Taylor over here, Zach, you had a double-double, 11 points, 14 rebounds. He's a big man. They're calling, they say you had four blocks. You must have changed like 40 shots tonight. Talk about how you and your brother, you know, were able to kind of keep those guys. They seemed intimidated so much that they really didn't seem to want to take a shot at the end. Yeah, we were just trying to be big and change their shots, like you said, and it, it seemed to work and cut them from the driving lanes, get into the basket, and get, getting them the getting them to the foul line, and I think we did a good job of that. Where's little Tommy Johnson here? Looking for him. Tom, you started off on fire. You had three threes in the first quarter. You finished with 15, but really the big ones for me was that opening tip. Zach won the tap, went right to you. You laid it in. You scored another basket, and that really kind of gave you guys control in that overtime period. Oh yeah, we're right off the tip. I made eye contact with Zach. He knew he knew to tip it to me. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Taylor, I'll give you this one. You guys, I'm sure, are gonna watch the next game. You got Pelman Hopkinton. Gonna, I know you probably don't care who it is, but talk about your thoughts of uh, playing for a championship on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, it's a great feeling. We don't care who we play. We're just gonna go out and play our game. All right, Kearsage going back to the championship game. First time since 1999. Here we go with Nate Camp here, uh, victorious tonight. As I said to the guys, it wasn't the most artistically pleasing game, but you won it 34-31 in overtime. Congratulations, you're going to the championship. Thanks a lot. You know, it, it's, it was an emotional uh, game. I, I, I thought um, the biggest turning point was, you know, once we got into overtime, I mean, we got the tip and we put it right at them. You know what I mean? I think they were back on their heels a little bit, and then we got another one, and the momentum, it was just, you know, you could tell that we had a little – uh, chip on our shoulder, and I think that was coming in. I mean, no offense to everybody across the state, but it, it was Pelham, Conan, everyone was talking about, and um, these guys had something to prove, and um, and rightly so. Pelham and Conan have been the two best teams for the last several years, um, but, you know, it's nice that these guys, you know, stepped up in pressure situations. I mean, the multiple times we needed baskets and or stops. I mean, the, defensively, to do what we did, to hold that, that team's excellent, and they're usually scoring 50, 60 points on a bad night. So um, I was happy with our defense. I thought our bigs played huge, and then our guard play late was, was exceptional. Er, early and late was exceptional. What happened? I mean, it was 15, 14. It was kind of up and down in the first quarter, and then there's a lot of fives, some couple of threes in there in the box score. I mean, was it just you guys kind of settled in and decided we're going to play this real grinded out affair both ways? Um, it kind of worked out that way, you know. I, I think we were trying to execute certain possessions. They did a great job defensively. We, we, we'd counter on the other end doing, doing that. Um, I was fine with the flow because I, it felt as though defensively, you know, we could mix it up a little bit. We knew we were going to have to man them. We knew that at some point. But I thought our, our, uh, our zone caused them some problems at times and just got them out of rhythm. And, and a team like that who's so structured and Sau Saucier does a great job of, you know, they move, they cut, they pass, they screen, and they, they're, they're in rhythm constantly. And, and then, then they, they know, like, 5, 10, maybe 15 seconds into the possession, they know they're going to get an open look. And, and we try to just disrupt that. We've watched a lot of film. I mean, we watched film Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday. 
lose a night on these guys. Um, and, you know, if you want to be the best and get to where you want to be, ultimately, um, we knew that it, it was going to, you know, tonight we were going to have to step up with the big boys. Um, and I want to congratulate Conant because those kids, they're class acts. They said to us, you know, after the game, you know, go, go win it, you know, best of luck. And um, there's, there's great kids and great program that, that Conant has. So. All right, we won't even ask you about who you want to play. Uh, it should be fun watching this game, knowing that you're going to play no matter what happens in this game. So congratulations on the win tonight, and we'll see you back out here Saturday. All right, thanks a lot. Go Cougars.